Hello, hello, assalamu alaikum. So, stay tuned. We're gonna go through some exciting um, adventure trip today. We are in Skardu, and um, uh, I have seen it on a, on, a, on a videos and on TikTok. People were doing this manual paragliding. So, this is basically a manual made helicopter, sort of uh, parachute with some paragliding. Um, it's not really certified to be honest but a lot of people go there to for an adventure it's in the middle of the cold desert in Skardu that's the beauty of that place that you have a cold desert which is with the white sand you have sort of mountains and they do this paragliding um, just right down there and they take you all the way on the top with some beautiful mountain views so stay tuned in a video we'll do some adventure trip today on a paragliding on this manual helicopter and uh, the views that I've seen from the top were just tremendous. Um, the scenic of this place, you see, it's just driving down <laughs> and <laughs> how beautiful <laughs> those views are. I have never seen something like that in my life. Uh, it's just a simple long drive and you just get mesmerized with this beautiful surrounding of the mountains and the cold desert and the nice highway. Just on the way, just enjoy the view. So we arrived at this place. The place is in the Sugar Valley. It's in the middle of the cold desert called um uh, Skard, cold desert of skardu and then it's surrounded by the mountains you also got some lakes in between you also have this uh cold desert and this is what it is like that they do this paragliding on this small okay. little manual made helicopter so i was kind of getting assured that who's the driver who's it's the pilot and there was a funny conversation Pilot कौन है? सर ठीक ठाक है ना? करियर से हैं? ज़रूरी है, बहुत ज़रूरी है। आगे? So get you just right in the front. You can just sit and do this harness and this headphone to put on your ears for protection. ठीक है सर? And they don't even give you a chance to kind of think about it. And there's the guy is already sitting back. And then, uh, yeah. Parachute, hai na? I was just asking you to show me that if you have a parachute attached. But once uh, it took off, it was really nice and the smooth ride. They do it when it's not really windy, so you know, you can, uh, you can really uh, enjoy the view. It's really windy and it's really not the other same time. But just amazing i cannot tell you i know it was a bit risky it was a bit adventurous at the same time but i just thoroughly enjoyed it i just could not get off uh, from the, the places like the seas around me you know you make me flying high you have a lake down you have a mountains around you and you have this cold beautiful desert that gives you a really really nice view right from the top so all of us just sitting up here. I was slightly scared at the same time, you know. I know it's adventurous, but uh, yeah, it's in Pakistan. Is we have to be basically everything is on like uh, inshallah type, you know. Like okay, if it works, if it works. If it doesn't, there's no one responsible for that. So yeah, you do it on your own risk. Uh, I don't know if you're scared of a height or something like that. It's not recommending. I really wanted to do it. Um, but yeah, for me it was one of the tremendous experience to be honest. And I had done a paragliding before. That was in. UAE uh, in Fujairah but I've never done something like that in Pakistan so for me it was like a very very joyful ride and you can see this I mean at the instant it doesn't look real at all for me like when I looked at it from the top I felt like it's kind of a painting you know? like it's just that's how it looks like um, the views and the desert and then you know just the fresh air from the top it was, uh, it was very short ride I mean uh, roughly if I cannot uh, I really remember but it was like about like four to five minutes uh, like flying experience and the guys that you can join with their hands And then when he needs to basically land or take off, he accelerates and gives a power to whatever manual engine that he has at the back. And uh, that's how he takes off and land. And the rest, I guess, is more probably being um, controlled by a 
gar nicht schon das ab. Pilots, they want to do this analysis on their own and uh, just basically decide they want to take off or whatever side they need to do a landing on. So, shortly after that, it was uh, time to come back on the ground. Short ride, but uh, tremendous. I think I will never forget this one, this experience. So, if you're in Skardu, it's not uh, that massive that you do it in the rest other part of the world, but you see how sharp curve he took and this was the landing time and i literally thought oh my god we're falling down because from the top all the way to come down it was literally within the seconds it didn't took even a minute to him so yeah if you're doing it it's about the cost uh, i'm not really sure i forgot but it was not really expensive for me in pakistan or comparing to the rest of the world when you do this kind of came down on the ground and shortly after that they had this uh, nice uh, jeep safaris after that that they takes you all the way in the cold desert right in a front where you cannot really access with a normal car or by foot so they have this nice jeep and uh, they take you all the way in the desert and you can enjoy in the dunes and it's just like a desert safari when you do it in UAE or another Gulf countries and take you through in the middle of the way. So we took this ride, me and my family, we went all the way about to see how does this cold desert look like. So it was quite a drive, uh, it took about 15 minutes from the base and then they drive you through all this street and this off road side. Um, it's quite a bumpy ride, but uh, it's okay, it's an experience. And shortly after that, we arrived in this uh, cold white dune desert. And taking you through these waves of the desert itself. It's quite an adventurous ride as well, and it was fun. The place is away from the city center. Um, it takes some time until you get there. But yeah, if you are visiting Skardu, these are the places that are the must visit. Uh, it's quite busy. It depends what you want to do. It's located in very close to the Shikar Valley, which you have this Serena Hotel and you have this Shikar uh, uh, Fort as well, which we are exploring in our next video. This was quite a ride, I really enjoyed it. Oh, it this is like again. a safari, Woo! it's quite adventurous, you know, it just go all the way on the top and then come down uh, from the another side and it's quite, uh, quite a scary ride, but yeah, it's an adventure, especially when you're at that place. It's uh, it's just a different color of uh, of the sand and the desert. There are a lot of other people as well around. Um, yeah, it was really nice, really good. Sometimes we just wonder in this part of it, it's it's Pakistan, and you never know that how beautiful this part of the the world is you know we explore in another part of the europe yes and yes and there are a lot of not a lot of facilities not a lot of um best restaurants not a lot of uh, other facilities that you have it available in another part of the world but uh, the nature and the beauty of this place is just matchless you know it's untouched nature wherever you look at especially in this part of the world is just beautiful you cannot stop looking at the valleys and the uh, the mountains and the, each area is basically dedicated for its own beauty and for 
his own uh, you know on specialities some of them has this old heritage uh, uh, cottages they have their old uh, f- uh, forts and then this place has this nice cold desert and the next place is we're going to go to they have their own lakes and the waterfalls so it's full of different sort of activities depending on your nature of your uh, preference that whatever you want to do so i had this few days and then i had to cover basically everything that i had to do in skirdu it was a very nice beautiful time spent with the, doing all this uh, waterfalls uh, staying in this calm and beautiful hotel and uh, doing this cold desert and this paragliding itself i also share with you on the next vlog that we did this in one of the lake top i did this zip line um that was also a very adventurous yeah and then i'll share with you on this next vlog uh, the zip line away can you go and what can you do on this part of the side of the lake so i'll just share with you shortly after spending a bit of time at the desert <laughs> we had to go back again it was very adventurous so it was very nice I'll share with you the rest of the details on the next video.